Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Your Dentist. My name is Dr. Don Perisletti and um, this is our first episode for the year 2017. So Happy New Year everybody and thanks for tuning in. Our first question of the year comes from VetDude84 and VetDude84 asks, as far as an over-the-counter whitening toothpaste, which do you recommend? Good question, vet dude. Well, as you know, every toothpaste manufacturer in the nation now wants to provide you with the whitest, brightest smile. Um, I don't have any actual data, but I'm sure the toothpaste manufacturers have come up with a string of data on that. Um, the ultimate outcome of using a whitening toothpaste is that you might get a little bit whiter. Uh, there are other ways to do that tooth whitening, which are more effective. But if all you have is a toothpaste and you want to select one that you think is going to make yourself brighter and whiter, my choice would be one that has a low abrasivity to it. Um, in the old days, Ultrabite, I think, was the, uh, the go-to toothpaste for white teeth. It turned out that Ultrabite had a component to it which was very abrasive. And the reason it made teeth white is because it actually kind of abraded the surface of your tooth and took off all the stains and everything, but eventually probably wore the enamel off your teeth too. So nowadays we're concerned about preserving the enamel on your teeth. And so if you use a whitening toothpaste, you want to make sure that it has a low abrasivity. There is a ranking um, that the uh, ADA has put out. It's called the RDA, stands for Relative Dentin Abrasivity. And it's a scale from zero to 250. And the lower the number, the lower the abrasivity of your toothpaste. So uh, I have a, a list of those. And if my colleague will help me out, I can post these on the YouTube video. And you can go down the list and search for your particular toothpaste you like to see where it stands in terms of that RDA. Um, I can throw out a couple of these for you that you might be uh, interested in, in, in knowing. So any RDA toothpaste from 0 to 70 is considered low, 70 to 100 be, would be a medium abrasivity, and 100 to 150 would be highly abrasive. Um, for kicks, anything over 150 up to 250 is regarded as harmful. In other words, don't use it. So um, I'll tell you personally, one of the toothpastes that I like uh, is Colgate Total. It has a RDA value of 70. So I'm kind of in there, in the low. I'm at the high end of the low, but it's still low. Um, and I think it does a great job. There's a lot of toothpaste that rank kind of down in that area too. If you like the uh, Arm & Hammer Peroxicare, that's a low abrasivity, it's 49. Interesting to note that pure baking soda, which we thought was very abrasive in the days when people would use it, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide, thinking that was a cure-all for all of your, your dental health maladies. Baking soda alone is a seven. Pretty low. Didn't know that. So let me throw out a couple of the really high ones here to kind of warn you about using those. Ultra Bright is 133. Uh, Colgate 2-in-1 Tartar Control Whitening, 200. Be careful of that one. Um, so that's uh, what I have to tell you for Vet Dude 84 um, I'd say that any of those that rank in the 0 to, say, 75, 80 range, if you want to look that up later on, you can do that. Um, stick with those. And as far as actually whitening your teeth, maybe go see a professional about that. They can probably provide, provide you with some whitening agents or bleaching trays or things like that that are more conventional uh, in, in terms of whitening your teeth without causing a lot of damage. And on that note, thank you again for checking in with us on this episode. Tune in again next time when we have another question for you. And thanks for watching. And write it, post a comment. Um, we'd like to hear from you. So, till next time, thanks for watching. And remember, dental-related questions only because I'm just a dentist. Thanks for watching.